channel it's your girl colors and here i am with yet another video today's video is going to be all about what's currently in my diaper bag for two under two if you are new to the channel and i have two baby girls nala and noel and they are currently 22 months i believe no 23 months and almost 11 months that should be about right is that right lord that's how life is changing us. They're actually 22 in 10 months. <laughs> Get your life together. So today's video, like I said, is gonna be about what's in my diaper bag. So let me try to, you know, create the scene for how I end up packing my diaper bag. All right, so my diaper bag is a I am not gonna miss nothing type of bag. I am I ain't got time type of bag, kind of like my bonnet. I want you, when you see me in my bonnet, that's the reason why I wore it like this because I want people to know that I am busy, that I ain't got time today, I got things to do, I am ready for anything that happens. So I have my whole life. Also another thing I definitely wanted to show you guys, not only what was in my diaper bag, I also wanted to show you guys what I actually make sure that I have in my car with me uh, anywhere I go. So I kind of pack my bag in a way that I am gonna be gone for a long time. This is not like a grab and go. Well, there's really no such thing as a grab and go when you got two little kids. You try to grab and go, and then when you grab and go, you end up missing things. So I try my best to try to have my bags packed for everything. I know to other people, my bag might be a little bit more excessive, like why do you have all these things but this is just what works for us and I have also a picky eater being a toddler I mean what's really new so I kind of make sure that I have everything for that as well so hopefully some of these items in the bag may give you some ideas of what you can actually pack in your bag or just to let you know how I look when I be going out so without further ado I guess we can just go ahead and jump right into it let me kind of step back and tell you guys this. So I had this bag since Nala was born. This is the first diaper bag I always wanted that we purchased. This bag has kind of been through some things. There's some scratches and everything like that. But you know, it's still holding up pretty great. Yeah, let's go ahead and start off with what's in the front flap. Ooh, yeah. So in this flap right here, I have my little portable sound machine. Now, to be honest, I don't use this as much as I used to because my girls don't really sleep on the go as much. And I love this thing, especially when I used to like have her in a stroller and I'm going somewhere. I don't even have charge <laughs> right now, so I can't even show you what it sounds like. Like, but it had a new little night light in here which was really helpful and it has about I think about five sounds I mean I just like to really just have this with me just in case if I ever need it moving on to this side is typically all my samples so if you have been with me a long time you know that I have always been like a deep couponer and stuff like that so I always used to get these samples especially from the Target registry so anytime that I think that I'm running out of something little medications or anything like that I kind of keep them in that flap so for example I have like aquaphor or lotions or like boogie wipes and things like that I even have this little bottle cleaner for when I am not at home and at somebody else's house. I can typically use something like this to kind of clean my bottles on a quick go, uh, which in all honesty, I never remember to do. I typically try not to uh, take actual body wash. I try to use some of these samples when I am not actually home. It's just all types of little samples that I tend to get in the mail. Mostly, I remember honestly to go in there when they need like lotion or that type of thing like I need on my hands right now. I probably should use this. I know y'all probably think of my hands ashy anyway. 
Now this top flap right here, and if you see like this, this is just a flap that you could just quickly access stuff. This is probably my most favorite thing about this uh, diaper bag right now because I use it the most out of any other section in this diaper bag. So when she be sitting in the passenger seat next to me and the baby start going, I need to just, you know what I'm saying? just be able to quit access. So basically saying that, this is all the stuff that I need to quickly get. So obviously one is baby wipes. Right now I have the sensitive um, pampers in here. I think these are actually my first time using these. Uh, I recently did a video about all like different types of baby wipes. If you haven't seen that, please check that out. This is just one of those wipes, so I keep it just in case I need to clean a face. You know, they typically get really messy when they're in the car seat, so yeah. And a whole bunch of snacks, okay. Snacks on snacks on snacks on snacks on snacks. Like I said, I have a one and two year old and my one year old is starting to really get into food right now, but for the most part, I really need to worry about snacks when it comes to my two-year-old. She is a very picky eater. She does not like the same thing all the time, so I keep snacks, as you will see when we go inside too. One of the snacks that I have in here, I keep things like um, honey Teddy Grahams. These are Ritz, where I want her to kind of steer clear of all the sweets. These ones right here is mostly for baby girl. I love these when it comes to her being in the car, especially when she could not feed herself with a bottle. It used to irk me because she used to be so hungry and she didn't really know how to hold her bottle, but I couldn't prop the bottle for her because she keep moving like things I used to prop the bottle with. It was a lot. So when she figured out how to grab stuff, I gave her these and these were lifesavers. Now, she doesn't really eat these much. I think she just got tired of them. I also do keep applesauce pack. Nala doesn't really care about these as much anymore, but Noelle, she is warming up to these, but since she don't really like baby food all that much right now, she's kind of like, mm. Also, let's go ahead and go on the side. We have one sippy cup holder. That's the probably the one thing that annoys me most about this uh, diaper bag. I really feel like it should have came with two, especially for around $150. Like, I feel like it should come with two. I mean, granted, it's insulated. But right now, I just got Nala's uh, sippy cup in here. We are really trying hard to work on the sippy cup situation because she does not want to get rid of a bottle, I swear. But we're really working on it. She will drink from sippy cup. But typically, when it comes to bedtimes or even long car rides, or she's been out too long, she still wants a bottle. So I try to at least keep a sippy cup in bottles. And that's one thing that you will not see in here. Typically, a couple of things that I always pack is two pre-made bottles, also a bottle of water, Zephyr Hills water in particular, or the we have reverse osmosis water that we pay for extra, which comes very much in handy when it comes to making bottles because we don't have to worry about getting water bottles. Is there an outside pocket? Yes. So one thing that is cool, even though they don't give you a cup holder, this is kind of like a insulated snack pouch. And one thing I used to love this for is when I used to breastfeed and have like the breast pouches. Yeah, I used to put them in here and not really have to worry about it too much. But opening this right now, I only have one a juice pouch here which right now I am giving her some honest organic fruit punch and that's what that looks like. And I just got two spoons just in case I have to eat on the go. I think the last pouch is actually up here. This is another quick access type area. I used to put like my cards, ID, everything like that. But right now it seems like I just have sanitizer because you know, Y'all, do y'all see my little, this tag right here actually says Baby Isaac. That actually used to be on um, a canopy that a subscriber made for me. I think her name is LaShonda or LaShondra Holmes. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but she had made this in a onesie for me. 
And I want you to know, girl, that I still use Aspects, even though we don't need a canopy anymore. This is a great identifier of my whole diaper bag. You can't miss it, and I keep it on there all the time, so thank you, girl. Also, there is a little pouch here that carries the changing pad. Now, I don't know what happened to the actual changing pad that came in here, but at this point, I probably wouldn't carry it in here anyway because after a while, when they start getting big like my girls is, the one that's in here is just not big enough. But I have this one that was given to me and at my baby shower. So it's just, the difference between this one and other ones is that it kinda got side arms and that comes a lot in handy because you know my girls are bigger they move around they want to touch a lot more and they just cover more surface i right now have huggies little movers and what's so cute about these is that if you can see these are lion king printed and if you look right here you will see nala which is how nala actually got her name and also keep some diaper rash cream in here as well let's hope this don't fall out but because it is actually filled all the way to the tippy top so let's get a little closer as you can see as i unfold this is that the first thing you see is nala's tablet now with a toddler you know not everyone's for the technology, but this definitely saves my life when it comes to multitasking. Keeping Nala occupied is very important and she knows how to navigate her tablet. So this tablet is very important to her. I organize it in a specific way so that she knows where all her stuff is. She needs this right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it to her. Speaking of tablet, just as a side note, one of my favorite games on this, and this is an Amazon uh, Fire. So you know it supports Android and type of apps. And one thing I love about this, it teaches her Arm. parts of her body. Arm. And ears and stuff like that. This is called Piano Kids and it just has a bunch of different games. So this is definitely probably my number one app for her to play. So the next thing that you'll see in here is disinfectant wipes because we are in the pandemic. The other things you will see here, which is something that I just recently started having is this little like snack bowl type of thing. Now I try to co color coordinate Nala and Noel stuff. And you've seen that the tablet was actually purple, but um, Nala's color is actually pink and Noelle's is actually purple. What ended up happening recently, a family ended up selling, selling her tablet, which was pink. So she's gonna probably be confused now. So we ended up giving it to Nala, but the purple one is actually Noelle's. But anyway, outside of that, um, I like this a lot because they could just stick their hands in here. And the concept is that she, they shouldn't be able to like spill whatever's in here. Obviously this isn't spill proof. If they really wanted to get it out and shake it, it, it will come out. It will come out. It's not spill proof, but the concept is if it just flip over like this, it's not gonna. I love still putting popcorn and stuff like that. Nala is in love with popcorn. Noelle right now, she doesn't really know how to use this, but we are giving her goldfish. That is what you're seeing. She can eat that. So, yeah. The next thing, which is another lifesaver in our life, is a formula container situation. What we typically do is have pre-measured portions of formula so that when we are ready and need to be quick and in a hurry, we just pop it into the bottle and shake. The only thing annoying about this, I wish each portion had this top on it, but it don't, I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but yeah, I love this thing. This is very handy. This does save time. The next thing that I have in here is these two little food bowls type of thing. Nala and Noelle can't eat these, but these is mainly for Noelle. 
but I love to keep this in the back just in case we are at someone's house or something like that. It's so hard because a lot of times if you don't have food and stuff for your child to eat, you you can't stay nowhere, you, not for a long period of time. So typically I like to keep stuff like this in the diaper bag so that way I don't necessarily have to worry about what they're gonna eat. You know, I like to stay prepared. So this is where I have the two spoons. Another thing I keep in the diaper bag, actually most of the time I keep this in the car, is Noel Soy. This is just a toy remote. Nothing really special about it. It just sings and flashes, stuff like that. Draping this open a little bit more, I just have to, a change of clothes for each one of them. I typically like to make sure that the outfits in here matches the shoes that they're gonna be wearing for that day. For the most part, unless I really don't care if they wear shoes or not, I don't always keep shoes on them. Another snack that I keep in here <laughs> is puffs. I mainly only use these in the car seat because this is one of the main things Noelle knows how to grab out of her cup. Also, if you look right here, I have this extra stuff, Tylenol, infant Tylenol. I keep that in there. And doggy bags, I use doggy bags for their dirty diapers. I use doggy bags for when we're out or we're at somebody's house and I just don't want to stake up the garbage. And there's just two extra pair of socks because you never know when you're going to lose one. Also here I have like bib because for when we are out. Also there is baby food in here. I rarely use this. This is a, a, an emergency type of situation because Nala in the world well I think actually Nala likes baby food more than Noel does but this is an emergency situation like I ran out of everything I don't have food I can use something like this to make sure that they eat if you zoom into this corner here you will see that I have the diapers I always love to keep diapers in here because I know where they will be, if that makes sense. I don't have to look in the bag. I know if I dip my hand in here, there's gonna be diapers in here. Right here is where I keep the giant bottle of sanitizer. A lot of times I tend to forget that I have the small one up here, so I always just stick my hand in the side of the diaper bag and boop, whenever I need it. So I keep that on the corner. So that is everything that is currently inside of my diaper bag but like i told you guys earlier there are a couple of things that i like to make sure that i always have in the car with me to help make my life easier as you can see right here two things i always make sure that i have in the car is two blankies that's because you just never know especially being here in florida it can be hot one minute rainy one minute and then freezing cold all in the same day and multiple times a day so i need to cover them up also too i always keep on me this this is my car seat cover i mean car seat the shopping cart one thing i like about this one is that it has a pillow for support and i used to love this thing so much let me tell you i loved it because this one you could lay the baby in the shopping cart when they're sleepy and they ain't got time for it i used to grab that sound machine hook it on under or slide it underneath this pillow lay her head on here her body sink here legs up here and throw that blanket on her inside a shopping cart she would sleep her life away let me tell you obviously the world is not rigged the same way that it used to be when i had nala so there ain't much sitting in shopping carts as much so i don't use this as much just push them for the most part in the stroller but i'm thinking about actually getting one of those shopping cart seats but i always just keep this just in case i ever need it also i make sure i keep a portable booster table situation so if it's dirty i apologize because we actually use this but basically this is like a portable chair that when you're out when you're at somebody's house when someone doesn't have like a high chair at a restaurant or someone like that we just sit this in the seat next to us and pop on this table we be good to go some people be like this is extra but this is a lifesaver and it's lightweight it's simple and 
it's easy. I love this thing. Especially when we used to go to Disney and stuff. And the last thing that I make sure I keep in my car is this other little diaper bag. Now this ain't any diaper bag. As you can see, they have this two little tabs right here. And that's because it is a booster seat. Now, when we go to restaurants, we typically use this one for Nala. And it has this little thing right here. And it just makes it higher. And I could just slide her inside of a booth. And she could just sit on here and be tall enough to just use a regular table. We use this a lot when we were more so at Disney because a lot of places don't have like everything you kind of need so this kind of kind of just made it convenient whether they had high chairs or not so between both of these tables they can be set actually directly on regular chairs and you use these straps here that's why they have these little clickers here and you wrap them around the seat like normal you can also use this as a regular diaper bag as well it's not just here for appearance you can actually just put um like the baby's food um, that's what we did a lot before everything that we needed to feed the girls we would put them in here so let's take a breather let's take a couple of seconds let's take a break i need a drink because that was a lot i know it's a lot i know it's extra i said that before in the beginning you don't have to keep all this stuff but this is just what worked this is what saves my life but i definitely wanted to share with you guys everything that i keep in yeah that is gonna be all for this particular video definitely hope this was helpful i think this is gonna be all for this video i definitely love you guys if you want to see more videos like this please comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video